All these trees in the background here are beaver trees that the beaver took down. A lot of my inspiration from my art are from the beavers here on the creek in Finland. I make a lot of my art through the beaver stumps that you're about to, that you're going to see shortly. And like I said, in the background there, that's uh, that's a tree that it, that one of the beavers took down here in Finland. Didi, come on. This is the house I grew up in here, and that's my mother Kathleen. Just going in there. Hi, mom. Very serene place. Uh, I find a lot of serenity, a lot of peace on this creek. Um, a lot of the art that you're going to see is uh, inspiration from being sober. Uh, I sobered up almost 10 months ago, um, clean and sober, and I've created most of this art in 90 days, uh, which is an amazing thing. Uh, a lot of my inspiration came from sobriety, and uh, thanks to grandfather. Today I can say I'm sober and uh, proud of it. Come on, Didi. Didi, come here. Some of the rock paintings I do. I get from this area in here, and the bamboo that you see in the back here, I use for a lot of my frames in some of my paintings. Uh, a lot of a lot of the bamboo I use for for my artwork. Um, I'm an, I'm a native. I pray with the native Indians of the Cherokee and Lakota tribe. Uh, I go to sweat lodges, and uh, a lot of my inspiration is from native practices. So what you're about to see is my prayer tree and a lot of my native art. Follow me.
buff a buffalo hunt. That was an old window that I I got, and just did that silhouette of the buffalo painting on that. This next this next piece here. This next piece is a uh, medicine man during the Sundance. The bamboo leaves on it I used from the bamboo tree that we showed in the back there. The uh, eagle whistle that they use for sun, Sundance is uh, from a jackknife clam. This is a native ingrown knot. These prayer ties are our prayers of mine. We tie tobacco. We we tie tobacco as natives, and as we tie tobaccos to the spirit, to grandfather, we we tie tobaccos and pray. This particular piece back there I call Sun Ra. And you can always welcome your your input. Uh, and uh, drop an email to totus.art at gmail.com. Uh, some of the blankets, the native blankets, were from giveaways when I, when I go to pray in sweat lodges. This piece here is uh, it's called Karen. That's a piece of driftwood that I got. I do uh, some art sculptures also. This is a beaver lamp that I filled from the beaver stumps. This is cloud nine. I'm Samantha Hi. and I actually had the pleasure of walking around and checking out some of your art and everything and it's beautiful and this space is very very inspirational so I was just wondering if you could walk us through a couple tell us your inspiration absolutely and, okay. absolutely uh, 
Um, this first piece is called Silhouettes. Um, it's inspired by a lot of native stuff. Every caption here is, uh, was just, um, while I was creating this piece, everything kind of came off the cuff and, uh, and came to me. And it took many turns. This piece took a lot of different turns uh, before it ended up like this. So um, this, uh, this particular piece uh, is, a, is an inspiration from working on Melrose in Hollywood with the different artists uh, in LA that do um, building paintings and silhouette paintings. Um, while I was on Melrose, I worked at a newsstand on Melrose and Martell. Uh, I was fortunate enough to meet artists like Andy Warhol wh while he was still alive, um, and different actors and uh, musicians. Uh, I met Madonna, uh, on Mellers and Martell and uh, had the pleasure of being in her video called Open Your Heart. I worked with Jean-Baptiste Mondino, the director, and uh, you might want to check that out. That's uh, an MTV video. It's called Open Your Heart with Madonna. Um, that was a, a magic moment, me meeting her. And, of course, meeting Andy, Andy Warhol also was, a very, was very inspirational to me. The ducks are trying to steal your thunder. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, the beautiful geese here in Finland. <laughs> well, now you've had a very interesting past. I know you had mentioned that um, most, actually all of your art is done in a time span of 90 days. Yes. Um, I, got, I got clean and sober uh, 10 months ago. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And everything, everything here poured out of me in 90 days. And I've always been an artist, but I never really, uh, the, the painting side of me, at, at the age of 49 years old has uh, blossomed out of nowhere from being clean and sober and praying, I pray with the Cherokee Indians. Uh, so a, a very spiritual awakening has led me to all the art you're gonna see here today. And I give all, uh, all the uh, thanks to, to grandfather and uh, the native way, thank you. Well, was there one particular piece that started everything, or...? Um, well, this, this piece here actually, actually started everything. This silhouette's piece was my first canvas. My first big canvas was this silhouette piece. Mm -hmm. And um, the next piece after that is um, the painting I call Ants. And... Uh, it speaks for itself, but my inspiration for this... <laughs> I was going to say, why, why would you think it was ants? But <laughs> Well, uh, the inspiration for this was kind of uh, a population explosion that, that we deal with every day in life. How long did it actually take you to draw or paint these ants? Um, this, this, this painting took me 14 hours, and I paint with acrylic. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not... Um, I'm the type of artist that when I start something, I'm kind of like a mad scientist. And I, I paint until it's done. So I painted 14 hours straight through on, on this ant painting. And uh, there's almost uh, over 800 ants on that painting. Wow. <laughs> I didn't count them, but uh, there's a lot of ants. And they kind of speak for themselves. Uh, as you can see, some people see the ants coming off of the canvas. I painted this particular piece of the ants coming onto the canvas towards the center. But what's cool about this piece is everyone sees something different on it. I think that would be very neat if, um, do you remember those, those books back in the day where you could stare at it and then you would see another oh, picture? Yeah. Wouldn't that be weird if you inadvertently made an ant stare back at you? Yeah, it's, That's awesome. it's, it's amazing when <laughs> people look at this and they go, wow, Totus, I see all kinds of different you know, I seen so told me told me they seen a guitar in the center, oh, and okay. the ants the ants create their own art here. So I I painted the first ant in the center and started surrounding that ant, and everything else followed. Um, I actually um, painted over half of this canvas after I painted these ants. Half of it I whited out and then uh, manipulated the ants, and uh, the piece came out. I'm ha very happy with that piece. Now, I realize that every painting is like one of your children, and you're proud of them equally, but is there one that stands out the most to you? 
Uh, I'd have to say the Burning Man. Um, this this piece again. Every piece I paint um, throughout the whole piece, I feel like I, I'm going to throw it out, and it's kind of weird that way. Um, I don't know what it is, but um, I have confidence in my painting. But while I'm painting, uh, I kind of lose grip with uh, reality sometimes. Mm -hmm. And um, this piece didn't evolve until uh, it didn't become the Burning Man until until I painted the background on it, and um, it's inspired by um, all the trials and tribulations and uh, chaos I was I went through as 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 an addict and and uh, using and drinking and and most of my life uh, was was wasted and my talent was wasted through through that type of uh, tur turbulence so this burning man is me coming out of of the fire uh, unscathed you know uh, with a lot of scars but uh, that's the burning man there and the piece is uh it's a whole new concept in stained glass um, this the stained glass is incorporated with the painting uh, i used glue glue for the stained glass and glue for the joints and then it's detailed with silver paint uh, to make it look like uh, solder. And it's interesting how even though he's still coming out all these beautiful colors it somehow all makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Some people see him sitting, some people see him standing. That's pretty amazing. I like that piece. I do love all of your pieces but I had mentioned to you earlier that this one in particular stands out to me and it says it's you and me. Yes, this piece is called You and Me. Um, I have a lot of, uh, I admire a lot of different uh, artists. One is uh, Da Vinci. Uh, this painting was inspired by uh, Da Vinci's painting of uh, God's hands uh, coming down and, and touching mankind. Uh, the difference between that Da Vinci's piece and this piece I call You and Me um, is, as you see, the hands are coming up. Um, from the bottom so there are two human beings meeting each other in the middle and I actually painted this piece um, for my fiance Karen uh, this piece is dedicated to her and uh, we've been through a lot together in the 12 years we've known each other and uh, this piece is it won't be won't be for sale it, it is uh, dedicated to uh, the woman I love mm -hmm. that is great and she is the sweetest thing in the world <laughs> yeah, she's well, also my assistant Awesome. Well, it's great that you get to work with like your fiance and do all that stuff. So, yeah. it's not work. It's it's your passion. Yeah, you get paid for work. it. You're awesome. right. You're right. Well, before we continue other parts of the interview, are, are there any other particular pieces or anything else you want to relay about your work out here? Um. Again, this piece here, uh, help. It's it's a native arts piece, and as you can see, it it speaks for itself. Um, it's one of my abstracts, and I like to do a lot of different abstracts with acrylic. I paint in front of a fan so that everything is frozen in time. Um, everything is blended, but I have the fan there so that um, everything heals uh, right away. So um, I blend stuff as it's wet, and then it's frozen in time. So unlike art, unlike oil painting, nothing's gone over. You know, um, everything is is uh, is frozen in time for the moment. So everything reflects what I'm feeling at the time, and this is a perfect example of that. I call it help. It's a native piece. So I mean, whatever you see in it, um, this piece here uh, speaks for itself. I call it Tiger Woods. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> it, it's my Tiger Woods piece. Um, I'm inspired by Tiger Woods. He, I mean, he's he made major breakthroughs in in, in the art, being a, a man of color, uh, breaking through at the sport of uh, golf. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of turbulence and anger there, also. Yeah. Um, but it's one of my uh, pro shop pieces, and uh, I'm hoping to see that in pro shops all over the world someday. It has a very 1980s inspiration to it, I believe, with all the color. Well, it's just what I see. Everybody else sees something different, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, now there was one particular piece that you also wanted to bring to light. Explain this yeah. to us. Um, if uh, everybody remembers uh, 
Andy Warhol painted the commemorative tomato soup can, and that was before pry off tops. So uh, this particular piece is my tribute to Andy Warhol, and uh, the funny thing about it is they d they're putting out a commemorative uh, tomato soup can, Campbell's is, uh, next month uh, for the, the tomato soup can that he uh, painted. Mm -hmm. This piece I put out three months before that even happened, and it's the cream of mushroom soup with uh, the new 20th century pop-off, pry-off top. Yeah. So this is my uh, commemorative uh, tribute to Andy Warhol, who's a big uh, influence in my life. Other influences are Van Gogh, Picasso, Da Vinci, as I was saying, and Andy Warhol, and a few other artists that uh, uh, Madonna worked with on her videos and that uh, she's on tour with that she fe features in her videos. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, talk about that piece for a while. Very cool. It was awesome seeing all of this. I want to thank PFF Productions and, and I want to thank you for, uh, for interviewing me today and um, just tell everybody that uh, my website is uh, under construction so keep your eyes open for uh, TOTUS art up and coming uh, to, the, to the entire world hopefully and uh, uh, like I said my email uh, address will be on the video here drop a line and let me know your input on my artwork. Uh, we, we're anxious to hear from uh, everyone. God bless. This is Samantha Elmer with PFF Productions, and I'm here with TOTUS. Thank you so much.
Reservation fugitive you have so much more 